Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name's Graham, of course, and I'm here to quickly take you through a couple of tips and tricks to do with bending tube. And in particular for this episode, how to find the apex of your previous bend so that the mark on your tube for your next bend is as accurate as possible. Now, a fairly simple trick, and for this we're just going to grab a couple of rulers, a 12-inch ruler and a 6-inch ruler. Now I've seen many people do some pretty amazing things when they go to measure a tube and uh, the silly look on their face when it doesn't quite end up where they want it to. So I'll quickly run you through this. This is a simple 90 degree bend and what we want to do is find the apex of this in order to put the mark for our next bend on this tube. So the process is fairly simple. Using your two, two rules, simply scrape across the top of your bend and what this does is it shines a line across the top dead centre of the tube. Taking your 6 inch ruler and your 12 inch ruler, simply line your 6 inch ruler up with the shiny line on this part of the tube and then line up your 12 inch ruler with the shiny line on the other and, and when the rulers touch that becomes the apex of your joint and you can simply measure from there say 160 make it 200 and place your mark on the tube and it's as simple as that okay well that's easy enough for a 90 degree bend what about a 45 here we have a 45 degree bend and what we want to do is we want to measure from the apex of this corner or this bend simply do the same thing use your steel ruler just rub across the top and it creates a nice shiny center line right on top of your tube line up your 6 inch ruler with the shiny line on this one line up your 12 inch ruler with the, the shiny line on this side bring it in until it touches the edge of your 6 inch ruler and that is the apex of your joint simply measure from that point to your new bend position and place your mark and it's as simple as that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time